Now, I'm sure you guys have, many of you have had this happen. You put the damage to a guy and he doesn't die. Why? Because of desync. It's one of the most cardinal sins a game could make. One of the highest ones where a player does all the right actions and then it doesn't happen because the game doesn't function properly. Especially in a shooter where slight seconds of misconnections can really affect how your game experience really plays out. Even though you have 99% of the time that your game works, that 1% really stands out and really will mess with you. Like, look at this here. This is Frosty, like apparently missing shots. I doubt that on 10 millisecond ping. Yeah, that's just some weird desync stuff that's happening. And currently, right now, 343 isn't really working on it. It's not the highest priority, according to, well, 343. A recent post on Reddit showcases what they were saying. A post here on Reddit showcases exactly what we're talking about. So the player activates overshield, right? So you have extra health. So you can take more damage, stuff like that. The player comes around the corner right here, and he's still in front of him the entire time. But apparently, that was a ninja, according to what the game networking said. And also right here again, the guy's right in front of him, but still gets meleeed in the back? That's not making a whole lot of sense. And actually, 343 developer replied to this on Reddit. Saying right here that the TLDR of it is that devs would work on these issues, but they have been reallocated to other work on Halo Infinite, which is like, dude, like the major functionality of the game isn't working properly, but people are working on other things. But there is a little bit of a silver lining behind this, saying that uh, that their work has, has had some kickback and benefits to the networking solutions, especially around movers like players and vehicles on objects like elevators, pistons, and bridges and things like that, but not around melee and being shot around corners and stuff like that. So apparently the networking around that kind of stuff is a little different, which is kind of interesting to think about. It. Just It's not just one big cohesive thing. There's different aspects to the networking of this game, which I definitely would say that the player movement has certainly improved. Objects have certainly improved as well, especially ever, ever since that mid-February patch update. Uh, which definitely focus on trying to keep people with better connections so then like the lag issue the lag compensation issue doesn't really come up a whole lot as bad which again i haven't seen it as bad as it was at launch like you know people clearly around corners getting nated or getting shot around cars it's still happening but it's much more like milliseconds or quite like a second delay kind of thing rather than previously it was like full-on like different games were being played at the same time kind of stuff now the developer does continue on saying that the community and competitive insights team at 343 have brought up amazing amount of issues with the networking and it's currently still a high priority but apparently not high enough. Though the 343 developer does say that these devs are coming home to Sandbox soon hopefully. So it seems like once their work there is done then we'll see them come over to work on the sandbox side of things which I guess would be like melees and being shot around the corner and stuff like that. Now I'm not you know completely a stranger to these kind of experiences of being like shot around a corner and weird things like that happening with the game that's kind of common with a lot of shooters uh if you've been shot around a corner most likely it's more of a lag compensation issue but sometimes desyncing still happens which then makes me think if this is such a this is like a core issue with the game right where like you have two basically situations happening there's not a, you know synced up situation with the multiplayer which is absolutely game breaking and that's not being worked on right now what is so important that it's more important than fixing this? Because right now, you say for the most part, it works, but it definitely doesn't work well, like how it's supposed to. Because truly, I can only speak for myself when it comes to these desync issues. I have free solid internet, and for the most part, yeah, I get like shot around the corners a little bit, but that's more kind of me over peaking, over extending, rather than like truly like being around a corner and then still dying. It still happens, don't get me wrong. I've had it happen multiple times, and I would like to see this improved, but for the most part, I'd say like 90% of the time, it's working fine. But that 10% really stands out. It really makes it seem like a lot bigger of an issue. Especially in a shooter game where the seconds matter, moments to moments matter. And if one thing doesn't represent the game properly in a moment, then that can make or break your gameplay experience. My assumption is that the team is currently working on networking co-op right now, which is going to be flighted here very soon, which if you haven't updated your insider profile, you definitely want to get around to doing that because this is going to be something that's very important to the Halo experience and playing with friends. There's uh, definitely network online co-op, which is going to be an amazing addition for this game. Very needed. Should have been there at launch. But after playing Halo of its campaign, I totally understand why it wasn't there. Again, that's just my assumption though. I would like to 
hear that kind of explanation about like what's getting prioritized, what's being worked on right now, but I think it's pretty straightforward and obvious what's being worked on right now, and that's mainly a big focus on one, getting Forge up and ready to go, but definitely getting the campaign called Flighting, which is going to be coming around here very soon. Which, according to the Halo Infinite roadmap, campaign network co-op should be coming around late August, but that flight most likely happening within July, as most of the times when we do have a flight, that usually happens about a month before the actual launch, and generally just used to kind of make sure, hey, it's anything like absolutely broken that we can't really test internally, that's what the whole idea is. Uh, once we do get that flight date and more information about the flight, and what's gonna be available for us to play around, you know I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. But if you're new to this channel or missing any content from us recently, check out this place right here. I got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.